Well, you know, I have, uh, for one, have been a beneficiary of, of uh, a treasure trove of, of Puritan writings over the mm -hmm. years. Uh, are, is there any Puritan spirit left in, in the UK? Uh, do you do you see any? Uh, do, do you see in the biblical Christian uh, churches and community there? Uh, do, do folks uh, look back to those and say, you know, th this is what we need to recapture? I'm glad you brought up the Puritans. I, I, I'm a great fan of the Puritans. I, I very much appreciate their writings, especially the works of Thomas Watson. Uh, he's one of my favorite Puritans. Um, I love his you know, doctrine of repentance and heaven taken by storm and, and, and the, the art of divine contentment and so forth. And um, Thomas Brooks and I, I like uh, <clears throat> and these, these um, other um, you know, Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan and other, um, and other books, works by John Bunyan. They're, they're a great read and I highly recommend them to any Christian watching this program. They're, they're, I mean, when I started reading the Puritans, it was like, um, I, it, it felt like I'd been um, just living off McDonald's Happy Meals my whole life and I just discovered real steak. You know, the, the Puritans are so powerful and so deep and so profound. Even as the church must fear Christ Jesus, so must the wives also fear their husbands. And this inward fear must be shewed by outward meekness and lowliness in her speeches and, and, and carriage to her husband. Uh, for if there be not fear and reverence in the inferior, there can be no sound nor constant honor yielded to the superior. Um, John Dodd, a plain and familiar exposition of the Ten Commandments. Uh, Puritan guidebook, first published 1603. Uh, the second duty of the wife is constant obedience and subjugation. Again, uh, John Dodd. But uh, do you see uh, encouraging signs at all at this point, or is it too early for uh, the, the church in England, and uh, not formally, of course, but, but the true body of believers, to really have a hunger and desire? for that revival, for that uh, zeal that uh, I guess, you know, the Puritans or a little bit after that seems to be the last time. Of, I know Charles Spurgeon. We also thank God for him. But uh, do you see any hope? 